it's Anna here. So today we're going to be cooking and we are going to be making some pudding. And I cannot wait because I love pudding so much. So uh, yeah, let's get started. First, you are going to be kneading a bowl and you're going to be pouring some milk in it. Then we can actually put this milk on our stove. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Now into a separate bowl, we're going to be adding only the yellow part from the eggs. I don't know how it's called actually. Um, but yeah, not the egg whites. Now we're going to be adding the... Um, yellow part from the eggs from actually two eggs so I'll break them up there we are and then we're going to be adding a spoon of flour here I have the flour and now let's take a spoon there we go and we're just gonna put this inside I got flour on my fingers this is really messy <laughs> And we're going to be adding two spoons of sugar now. Here I have one spoon of sugar and then the other. Here we go. And now we're going to be stirring these. Here I have a whisk and we're just going to stir around here so we get the perfect mixture. Now, we will just need to combine the milk here with our new egg mixture. Now, let's combine them. Here I have my little bowl of milk and I'm going to be pouring this right in. There we go. I'll get them in the sink. Now, we're going to stir. Here I have my whisk again, and I'm going to be stirring into this mixture so it will get to a nice yellow color. Now here is our mixture. So this is what you're going to be looking for, a creamy white. Now this goes on the stove. Now with your egg whites, you can actually blend them together so you will get a sort of foam that would look so cool and taste so good in your pudding. Isn't this pudding just boiling so nicely? And as you can see, it is a really beautiful creamy yellow, but it's a little darker than it was before. So you would like to get a shade that it's a little darker each time. So yeah. So we found out that this doesn't work with a blender. So we switched to a mixer and these egg whites turned into a really beautiful foam. So yeah, make sure you're using a mixer and not a blender. And this is how it should look like. And now add dollops of this foam onto your pudding um, so that it would have a nice decor. And this is optional, so you can skip doing these little foam dollops if you'd like. But I think they add a really cute touch and that they are simply delicious. And now just you would let them chill into the pudding that is boiling. And in the meantime, of course, you can just leak your mom's spoon. Because this is simply delicious, guys. Mmm. Best thing ever. With this, you can also do um, strawberry foam, which is just great. Um, actually, I never ate strawberry foam never but um i heard it's so good and strawberries are healthy so it would be a really nice dessert look at this beautiful pudding after they are done boiling we are just gonna be letting them chill this is our final product guys and uh, me and my mom added blackberries and a little strawberry there it's just so cute 
actually it's not strawberry it's raspberry but yeah <laughs> it's so cute and it kind of looks like a little ducky now that I look at it because these um, foam thing um, create like a little head shape and the blackberries are eyes and the raspberries are a little beak and it's so cute so guys thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video I sure did making it and so uh, yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye